Welcome to WeConnect. I'm just so glad that you could join us on this program. Swati Iyengar is my guest here today. Now, he's actually a businessman. He's been in the food industry for many years, but that's not the reason why we've asked him to come here. We have invited him because he's very much a Tai Chi expert. And it's that that I really am curious to find out all about. And I hope that you will be as curious as I am. Thank you so much, Swati, Thank for joining you, us here. Now, businessman and Tai Chi, I'm just wondering how in the world does it go together? No, businessman started with electronics in China first. Really? 1990, okay. 1990 I started mm. my factory in China. But um, down the line, I'm always thinking that I'm creating pollution there. Mm. So my passion to cooking, I, one fine day I just got out of the f business and I want to do cooking. Mm. Uh, one of the finest chefs in the world uh, was my friend that time. He said, don't do f uh, cooking because it, it takes a long time. Why don't you start a food industry? Okay. And uh, what kind of food? I'm a vegetarian. Okay. So I don't advocate vegetarian, but I promote vegetarian food as mm. a safe way to health. And Tai Chi was, again, I was stumbled upon Tai Chi because of a lady who saw me every day practicing some form of movement in the park. And my first teacher of Tai Chi was a lady from Fujian province. I'm very proud that she invited me. She sent an emissary to call me and said, I want to teach you Tai Chi. Really? And um, I said, no. I don't want to learn Tai Chi because Tai Chi is boring. Because I always was thinking Tai Chi is for old people. It is very easy for a young man like me and I shouldn't be doing that. I should be doing something aggressive. Mm. But she persisted with the Putungwa. Um, I speak Kontungwa, which is Cantonese, but uh, she was persisting and there was a translation going on. Mai konchi, mai konchi. You must learn this, you know. But I tell you, within 20 minutes of accepting her invitation to learn Tai Chi. You were hooked. I was sweating profusely, really? my knees paining, my ankles paining. I said, this is torture. Mm. So that my first uh, experience with Tai Chi was not that interesting because she said it is not for old people. Young people should know what is Tai Chi. It is not easy to do Tai Chi, but it looks easy from the outside. Right. But then you stuck with it for I stuck just with many it. years. It, 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 is, it is beautiful. I felt very good. Um, every day I practiced it slow on and on. A lot of, it's all credit goes to the teachers that who I learned. I learned it from three great teachers because of my life in Hong Kong and China for 20 full years. Right. And still I have my food there. And uh, they persisted. They always call me a brown skin man in the Tai Chi mm. class because they're all yellow skins there. And right. they, they, they tease me with that. And they say, come on, come on. They encouraged me to not to give up. Um, later on I found Tai Chi has a lot of benefits. Right. It's just not my own ego that is satisfying, but it's also health benefits of Tai Chi and my business, which is connected with the food industry of health food. Right. But let me interrupt you here and ask you, you keep saying Tai Chi, but there might be a lot of our viewers out there who have no idea. Are we talking about, uh, you know, yeah. so many uh, jujitsu? Are we talking about karate? Yes. Are we talking mm. about... Uh, let, let's go a little bit what into is, that. Yes. What is Tai Chi? That's a logical question. Tai Chi was originally in the philosophy of Taoism. Okay. Uh, the philosopher Lao Tzu, you know, uh, if you look at uh, Lao Tzu's figure, uh, you Google it, you can see him on a karabao or, or, or what do you call it? Uh, a buffalo. He's sitting oh, okay. like on top of it. You know, that's a figure they produced. Mm. Uh, he, he was there at the same time as Confucius. Okay. Uh, 3,500 years ago. And he wrote a book called Tao Te Ching or the I Ching, or Book of Change. Okay. And I believe it's the most widely translated book next to Bible in the world. And it's a philosophical book. It's a management book. But Tai Chi was a physical representation of the theoretical words that was given by the Tao Te Ching. Right. What about the fact that you said that when you went into your first session and you went for 20 minutes and you were sweating profusely. And painting. <laughs> and painting, yes, and painting. What about ladies who might be watching us or people who are watching us and saying, hey, that's a pretty good way to lose weight. Um, Is it so or not see, so? See, uh, I never sold this idea of losing weight at all. I am not into any form of <clears throat> a program that says I lose weight. I don't watch mm. for it. I, right. I quote on the rec for the record. But having said that, one per person who is doing the, the Tai Chi, the way that we teach, and uh, format it nicely into the lifestyle, one becomes healthy. Okay. That's simple as that. That's what you're, that's what you're promoting here. Yes, one becomes healthy. I never vouched for what is called dieting through some form of a brutal process. Right. 
But Tai Chi, yes, I've seen a lot of people. See, it, it should have holistic health, not only losing weight. Yes. One could lose inches and be very healthy. Yes, true. Right? Or lose inches and be extremely unhealthy. Unhealthy, true. true. Exactly. Valid. So, um, if you're, if you're a, a, in, a, in a policeman, for example, and uh, you don't want to be so thin or, you know, I mean, you need to have some kind of a body posture. Bulk. <laughs> yeah, some, some, something. Yes. Uh, or a sportsman or a person working in a security or whatever, yes. you know. So, dieting is something totally different concept. Tai Chi makes, or the, move, the program that I conduct, Tai Chi and Qigong program that I conduct, makes one absolutely healthy and uh, <clears throat> this has been time and again proven here. Can you prove this? Oh yes, uh, this is easy to prove. One can nowadays, God Google answers every question. <laughs> but of, lots sometimes it's not quite No, a lot of correct. medical research. You see, okay. um, I myself worked with people who are having uh, dementia and uh, imbalances of geriatric. Yes. See, uh, okay. When I said geriatric, it's studied as a part of a geriatric study in US. Yes. You know, when Tai Chi is a part of the program itself. Really? Yeah. Because the older people falling is the only form of movement that helps a lot. Because, you see, it is not static. It is dynamic movements. So one gradually goes from one point to the another, keeps moving on. Now, you are teaching, you are teaching here. You were also teaching in Hong Kong, yes, I gather, yes, right? Yes, yes. So now here in India, what kind of interest is there in Tai Chi? Um, sadly, people have lost patience here. And you need patience for Tai Chi? At least two, three months or six months uh, to understand. Or if you want to traditionally learn it, that's the way I was taught in the monasteries. I was, I was taught with, the, with my Tai Chi masters. Like, you know, as soon as I go into the classroom, you'll say, okay, go and stand there. For two hours, I will do the same thing. And my wife and kids standing uh, on the corners, they laugh at me because you did the same thing three years back. You go to the new master, he asks you to do the same thing. Start from the basic, unlearn, empty your mind. Right, so is this something like when you go to boot camp, you first sort of are, are almost reduced to a nothing mm. and then move forward from there? Is boot that what camp, it is? Boot camp, again... Uh, uh, symbolically being represented, unfortunately, as a brutal camp. Mm. You know, like there's a lot of uh, shoveling, yes, shouting. Right, I absolutely. don't believe in that. Mm. Silence is, the, is, is, is divine. Mm -hmm. uh, tai Chi is taught a lot of time in silence. Really? And the master interferes very little. He, moves, he just shows one hand movement and he says, feel the space. And he goes, walks off. Feel the space? Where is the space? What's he Where talking about? Right. Where is the space? Yes. Where is the space? Feel the space. That's all. So you have to comprehend what he has just said and disappeared. Right. So in India, do you find that people probably think, what's this weird guy? What's he up to? What's he doing in the park here? Is that a reaction that sometimes, because here in India, we are uh, sometimes more attuned to kind of slightly more, uh, you know, uh, aggressive forms of uh, mm, you know, mar mm, martial arts and mm, stuff mm, like mm. that. Um, uh, theoretically, that? theoretically speaking, Tai Chi his applications are in martial arts. Really? It's the finest martial arts if its applications are. Okay. The movements are very much as good as any martial arts. But the only thing is, the purpose is not. My master, how many times in your life you have fought on the street? Many people would want to love to say none. Mm. So keep your health, cognitive skills. Always withdraw from the conflict, not get into a conflict. You that's, know? that's a Chinese uh, philosophy, philosophy in a way, right? Withdrawal from the conflict. Mm. Not go and say, I can do this. But if conflict is thrusted upon you, you can be always used to, you can, you can use Tai Chi as one form of means of getting it out, uh, get out of that. Right. But patience is virtue, yeah. And, uh, and, and a lot of Shraddha, that is, the discipline is required to learn Tai Chi. I, I tell you, again and again, I was no, I'm a very, you know, I temper guy, I keep flying all around the world. <laughs> tai Chi shaped me up to mm. be someone, get, oh, another thing, Tai Chi was one of the reasons for me to be able to even get up at 3 o'clock in the morning and stay healthy and stay fit throughout the day. Mm -hmm. Because everything is slow and serene and a lot of breathing takes place. Yes. So you're not doing, you're not getting into fatigue. Right, right. Your fatigue is different from tiredness. Right. Fatigue is a killer, not a tiredness. Right. So you're talking here then about um, the patience, about, but you still haven't answered my question. How many people are interested oh. in Tai Chi in India? Um, there are a lot of people who know the philosophy of Tao Te Ching. 
Yeah. Okay, those who study the philosophy mm. of book of I Ching, because they studied in the management when right. they did in the, school, man management in the management school, yeah. schools, and they want to know what is the physical representation of it. And some people come and say, I have a knee pain, I have an arthritis. You know, I is have it going a, to go away with this? Uh, 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 there is a lot of research has been done for medical reasons for Tai Chi. It is there, and some doctors in Chennai. Uh, they attended my classes for very long time. They really? Themselves, yes, they themselves came and attended my classes. Hmm. They are final surgeons in the town. They came and attended. In fact, some of them still calls me and say, Sifu, I'm still able to stand and do three operations. I'm not feeling the fatigue. Right. So, it is a beautiful art form, but your art form should be passionately observed. Right. Is there an age at which one should or should not begin to learn Tai Chi? Those who are able to walk, can do Tai Chi. As simple as that? As simple as that. Okay. At this point, I'm going to ask you to hang on for just another short break, but we'll get right back with you. So you please stay right here with us on Reconnect. Are you ready to be transported to a different world? A world where you are the lone survivor. Where bullets scream the loudest and blood flows like water. Where zombies lurk around everywhere and one wrong step brings you crashing to the ground. The game is on. Sunday, 5 p.m., only on NDTV Hindu. Welcome back to our program. We're talking here today on WeConnect about Tai Chi with the practitioner of the art. And he's right here with us, Swati Ayengar. Now, you were talking about health and, uh, you know, at what age, as I was asking, what age should you start, what age should you not start? Is there a cut-off age? No. Uh, on those who are able to stand and walk can practice Tai Chi. It is uh, the duty of the, the master, the Sifu, to tailor make Tai Chi according to the capacity of the practitioner, uh, mm -hmm. the student. Now, do you have to have a mental disposition towards learning something which to my mind, at least from what I've seen of it, which appears to be such a gentle kind of graceful sort of form. Um, don't expect anything in the first few classes. Really? Just come there, go with the flow. It's a, it's a, it's a part of the nature. Um, tai Chi is again the philosophy. You see, a, it, there is this thing called stillness in motion, motion in stillness. If you attribute that to the mind being in the like a mountain, mm. the flow is like a river. Mm. Yeah, you can vice versa also. So you can have both. So don't immediately say what did, did I get nothing's it? happening. Nothing's happening. Right. No, it's not going to happen. But eventually, you'll get it. Right. What about children? Can children learn it? Oh yeah, uh, that's one good thing. I am I am pleading with parents and schools here, hopefully, and uh, make it as a health program. When you when you see they collect fees for the books, these that library fee, shoe fee, tailor fee, belt fee, or, uh, ID card fee. I mean, why can't they have thing called health thing or a nutritional thing? Uh, that, because people like us, because I worked with the food industry for a very long time, I developed about 160 food products across the world on health food. And I want to develop a program, or I developed a program, where the children, they get to know, along with the parents, know what is health and what should they do minimal. So that they first thing out to understand that child, children is they should not be obese. Right, because of course, we need to confess here that uh, our Indian children are not necessarily the healthiest yes, children in the world. Yes, yeah. unfortunately. They grew up with the remote more than, the, more than, more than anything. Right. They, they, all the, uh, as soon as they go home, they have junk food. And uh, parents have no choice because the working parents and they are in the care of the honorable maids uh, and uh, they sometimes they do tantrums, just give them whatever comes from the refrigerator. Yes. So unfortunately, yes. But now find a solution. The problem is there. 
and we can provide the solution like you know i have seen this happening i have worked with my own children i have talked to some children in the kitchen already you know you have to you have to take this very seriously and the schools can impart this and i am willing to go and work with the schools right but can people who learn tai chi just continue to doing it, uh, continue to keep at it for the rest of their lives and not necessarily keep on coming back no, to you no not not necessarily come to me at all they practice all the thing if they want to advance the studies they go further they want to fine tune to tweak it more there then they have to come to a uh, good master right but the movements itself what more when you say tweak the movements and keep on learning what more do you learn i mean do you learn uh is grace uh, perfection like even now i go to hong kong i go to my grandmaster sometime he say uh, he will say how do you teach this kind of a student yeah new thinking new paradigm shift there is a there is a thought process there there is a consultation there with my own masters there because a lot of other movements are there see when we learn 85 movements for example in one particular style there are many styles also in tai chi there are five different styles okay yeah so let us say one particular style you take an 85 movements or 23 movements or 24 movements mm -hmm. that takes 3 to 6 months to learn or 85 movements in my class i'm telling you it takes 2 years to learn i take it very slow really yeah because that's the way i learned it that means you are forcing me as your student to be absolutely patient because i understand and i gather from what you're saying that you will continue with the same movement all the time yes are you trying to break my spirit no it's not on the content nourish your spirit really yeah and uh, and understand there's so much when you go within yourself you start enjoying it you have more uh, you know you are you are your senses opens up to a lot of things so what are you saying are you saying that i'm going to become more patient and i'm going yes. to at some point what i snap and break and say enough and you know is enough. you're boring people have done that people have done that people this. have done that and, and they don't enough. come back no they go for gyms <laughs> where there's a huge amount of music they can loud, like, loud music they can jump it's, it's their per, uh, their prerogative i have nothing to say about it right in india you have uh, been back for some years yes. now uh, how many people would you have taught i mean i know you did say not that many in india why is it not um, yet being promoted in the way i'm sure I have it should not be i promoted myself on tai chi unless they come to me and uh, venue is one of the biggest issue i look for a open venue with a lot of garden and trees around the place which is uh, you know twingling twingling <laughs> and uh, they'll say what what you know can you do it in a room uh, can you do it in air conditioned room uh, people come and ask me can you do it in air conditioned room i say no please you can open the windows if you want to um, so i this is the way i learned this is the way the monastery taught me i cannot uh, deviate from that that's the way the the teachers the great teachers i work in wuhan in hubei province in the in the hudong monastery they said serenity and happiness is there just do it right we'll time for another very short break here and we connect and we'll get right back with you please don't go anywhere Swati Iyengar is my guest here on We Connect today and we're talking about Tai Chi and he's been a practitioner of this art for a very long time he teaches it and he's been telling me what it's all about now what about um, hospitals what about um, you know the whole uh, medical scene you know you you are very interested in health you're very interested in health related issues you know Uh, judging by your own business practices and what you produce etc and this is not about your business of course but tai chi and fitting it in with health oh yes you see that um, as the future uh, many countries does it australia does it beautifully hong kong does it beautifully america does it beautifully there is a thing called alternative uh, way of evidence based therapy they call it as okay. there is a thing called evidence based therapy and tai chi is used very widely uh, among these institutions and i hope and pray 
uh, it will also lessen the burden on the doctors and the patient itself. See, uh, you know, it's, it's not that traumatic, you know, going yes. to an hospital is very traumatic, you know, I, I know. <laughs> and, and, and this kind of an alternative care will help the patients and the caregiver. Really? Yes, yes, absolutely. I, I have no second thought about it and I'm willing to demonstrate it. Right. And, and uh, pe people recuperating from a long illness. Uh, there is a beautiful study done by some institution or a, a research, uh, Tai Chi has for cancer survivors. It's there. Mm. It's there. One can just download it and read it. Um, tai Chi uh, for uh, um, immobility caused due to diabetes. Diabetes itself is not a problem. The immobility that is caused the because related. related. Yes. yes, it is there. In 2005, Diabetes Research Magazine did an article. So I am willing to open up my services, my work with institutions like hospitals where this non-communicable disease is very prevalent work with them and make the patients give a better life. Right. Yeah. Um, sorry to interrupt you, but has there ever been a debate, and I'm sure there is, about, uh, say for instance, yoga, because yoga is in hospitals and yoga is in so many other Absolutely. places, yoga versus something like Tai Chi? There is no debate, but yoga and Tai Chi are two different uh, in polarities. In Why do you say that? One is static, one is dynamic. Okay. Okay. Yoga is a standalone pose, and I, am, I also learned yoga from two great yogi, yogi okay. yeah. One was Sachidananda Yogi, who was living in Goindapa Naikin Street those days. And I used to, he was a Maunu Guru, he used to teach writing in Telugu and write mm. for me. He was my first guru. And uh, later on, I practiced with Swami Govindananda also because I want to learn what is yoga. There are a lot of theory we wrote, a lot of mm. theses we wrote on that. So then I understood uh, in my program, I also teach yoga as a part of a program. Why? Because some people feel comfortable with that. You are comfortable with your something familiar. Right. Right? Um, it's stat static, it's a standalone movement. You do one. You can stop with it, go to the next one, right? Whereas Tai Chi is interconnected. Meaning? One movement ends and takes another curve. Okay. Like we said, the man in the park is doing. Yes. You know, he doesn't stop. No, he doesn't. He goes in a, in a graceful curve all the time. Yes. But tell me, when I see him doing that, uh, he has obviously been taught. So he's been taught a whole sequence that he sequence. has to perform? Yes. Can you suddenly take off and get at a tangent and do another movement? Oh, that becomes a contemporary dance. Some people do it in a contemporary dance. Have you seen that people do some kind of movement like Tai Chi and every day see here and there. Yes. Uh, you know, the YouTube is a disaster at times because <laughs> people want to learn from yes, that. Yes, you, you can't know. learn Tai Chi from the YouTube. Impossible. Tai Chi is three-dimensional. Somebody says they're learning from Tai Chi from YouTube. I say, Saludo. Good, God bless. Why? Because Tai Chi is three. Because you're what do you mean when you say that? Because Tai Chi movements are three dimensional. The person moves in different directions, the legs move in different direction. So when I say I pivot my leg on one particular movement, my hand goes like that. Eh? So you can see one hand is here, one is here, one is at the back. It's three dimensional. What you see in a, in a television is a two dimensional thing. Right. Do you have to be then something of a dancer? Yes. Uh, dance is what? one of my hobby. Uh, I, I'm a big passionate. Uh, six months I was in Madrid, uh, in Spanish, uh, Spain doing flamingo dance. Uh, mm. So that helped me a lot to become a Tai Chi teacher also. Really? Yeah. It is, it is a graceful thing. You have to imbibe it. You have a lot of passion as you speak, Swati. Yes. And um, I, I think that's marvelous. Are you able to instill this kind of passion in students? Oh, yes. I'm so happy. And there were students who left India before they're going out of India for higher st studies. They learned Tai Chi from me. That mothers come and tell me, Swati, my son is still practicing what you taught him. Really? Yes. But I always say, young students should, should explore new avenues uh, after the study. They should not be uh, saving the money too much in the bank. Explore new, learn an art. Maybe it's expensive. Like Tai Chi is a very expensive art to learn in Hong really? Kong. Yes. It's, really? It's Why? Why? Uh, very few great masters that teach today. Like, you know, when I did my teacher's training in Tai Chi, there's an audition. Hmm. My Chinese lady who told me, go, go, go. You take a check in your hand, stand there. If a Sifu Choi likes you, if he likes your movement, he will take you as a, as a student. Otherwise, get out. Right. So there's an audition. Even you already won a silver medal, you have done a lot of demonstration, public demonstration. A teacher's training is not that easy there in Hong Kong. There's an audition. He chooses. You are not choosing him. Really? Yes. You, I carried my check. Ready? Oh, okay. Do. Then I did what I do. Okay. You go. Some people he said, ne come next year. Go, go back to your master and practice again. It's an audition. So it's tough. It's very it tough. Is tough. It is not like if they, oh, people come and ask me, how you done three months? Can you give me a certificate? I said, I give you. What are you going to do with it? 
<laughs> Where are you going to go? What with are you going to do with it? Yes. I, after ten years slogging every day, three to four hours. My my uh, Sifu Liang, whom I learned, is still a tailor in Hong Kong. Uh, every time after Tai Chi class, he go back to tailoring uh, shop. You see, this passion driven. That's what the Sifu means. Respect there. Here, uh, unfortunately, we don't have that kind of. But that's because it's not known. It's not uh, you know. Uh, how it's, no, it's we had a system. We had a gurukulam. We had a guru means we had a lot of respect. When I learned from Sachidan Devagi, we had the respect a lot. But today is about a two hours program, one week program, one one two weeks program. That kind of program itself is consolidated. Yes, but having said that, why do you have workshops then? I mean, workshop, you have workshops. Workshops is only to give a preview of what is Tai Chi is all about. Oh, it okay. is nothing to do with oh, you're going to become a you know you can have a certificate that you attended a workshop. I'm going to give you nothing. Maybe maybe some buttermilk. Oops, really? That's all. I'm going to give you nothing. How what many, do? Right. Uh, so, so how many people come to your workshops? I mean, oh, what kind of interest? 10, 15, 20, you know, like that. But not more. I, normally, I don't want to take more than 20 people. It's difficult. Workshop is, what is Tai Chi? Now, you and me are talking about, now we stand up and demonstrate. It's going to be two, three hours of explaining what is it all about. Maybe after the 20 people, maybe five or 10 says, can I practice it? Can my child come and learn from you? Do you find that perhaps the time constraint could be a problem to people coming to learn this art of We have course. 24 hours, we have a long way, we have excellent timing. You see, time is, is, a, is a beautiful excuse that's always given here. <laughs> I know, you know that's people true. People come late here and they give you excuses. That's true. I don't believe in that. Mm. You know, but the movies you don't go late, you go on time. You know, most of the people end up on the movie before even the first reel goes up. So I don't think, if you want to be healthy, I tell this. If you cannot give one hour a day for a practice like this for a few months, then probably you're going to sit in front of uh, God forbid, whatever it is. Right, whatever it is. Versus uh, your Tai Chi versus exercise. I yeah. mean, you know, and I'm not talking about the treadmill or the mm -hmm. gym or anything mm -hmm. like that. I mean, so many other forms of exercise. Would you, would you say that even if you are doing Tai Chi, that's fine. You could just stick with Tai Chi. I'm not saying that it, it's the best thing or no. something else is better. That's not the comparison I'm trying to make. Mm. But uh, is, it, is it okay to be doing that? I mean, is it okay to be not doing do anything else and been doing Oh, anything? yes, absolutely. I am. I never been to a gym in my life. Really? And uh, I... You look I'm like not, you have. I, I've never, never been an advocate of one. Mm. And I don't like to do anything that is... Um, that's a monologue that, you know, that is what, oh, I'm going to lose weight. How many calories I burned? I have a, some kind of a strap that I've lived, in, I lived all this world. You see, I was living in the best part of the world in my life where I've seen everything. But what baffled me is how these people in the monastery are so healthy. And contented. Contented, eating little food, robust health, getting up at three in the morning in a cold weather in Wuhan, freezing temperatures. You know, I, in summer the, the iron melts, that kind of a temperature. And till 9 o'clock, I don't see them tired, fatigue. No fatigue. So there should be something secret behind it. That's what happened. In, that's called chi, prana. Yes, In, in the movie in Karate Kid, uh, Jackie Chan would say that yes. word pr chi. That's what I found out. I found my secret lock to that health. Right. I was fortunate. Right. For, thanks to that lady. Right. Master. And of course, now here you are uh, trying to uh, promote, yes. this, promote this art of yours. Uh, with only one aim, I can see, one and aim. that is it to have be people to the, healthy. Even to the defense establishment, to the army, to the CRP, to the police. To whoever might want yes. to learn yes. this. Anyway, Swati, it's been marvelous to be able to talk to you. I think Thank you're you. absolutely Thank delightful you. to talk with. Delightful to have you here on WeConnect. And of course, that's all we have time for here. Unfortunately, we have to go, but we do hope that you have enjoyed listening to Swati Iyengar because I have enjoyed really really enjoyed talking with him today and so until the next week you take care and join us once again on reconnect bye for now